<laughs> so, the day has finally come. The last video you guys watched, it was recorded in early May. It is now mid-June. And look at this. It has been months and months and months, but now the gyms are finally back open. With restrictions, of course, but that's okay. The only restrictions they really have is be extra careful. And from 2 to 3, Monday through Friday, it's for the old people. I'm not that old yet, so I don't get that privilege. But for now, let's let's just enjoy the gym. We're going to hit some chest, shoulders, and triceps today. Don't mind my ugly haircut, by the way. I was so excited I went to the first salon that I found. And this is how it turned out. So I hate my life, but that's okay. Let's, uh, let's get it done. What is up guys it's so good to be back it's been a little while since i've done a commentary nonetheless just been in the gym it feels so good to be back i'm not going to talk too much about the workout it's just a basic workout it's sped up just in case some of you guys are like oh my god he's doing that so fast that's not good um but it's been rough man quarantine's really taken a toll on everything whether it be like people's jobs careers people have lost jobs so like the gym in all honesty is really nothing i have equipment at home that i've been using to try and just keep the body that i had which wasn't even too impressive at the start of quarantine you know i had just come out of a bulk so that's a rough time you know i have dumbbells i have a pull-up bar i have equipment that i can use so i've been using it but it just feels so good to be back and yeah i uh, hope you guys enjoy the vlog i just wanted to share that with you I'll see ya. All right, guys, we made it out of first workout back at the home gym. I have gone to uh, the other Fitness 19 in Rancho for the last few days, but it just doesn't hit the same as this one. You know, I was molded at this one. Started this one 2012. It's been almost 10 years since I've been a member at this gym. They've grown a lot. People have come in, people have come out. People have gained weight, people have lost weight. People have gotten ripped. People have just left. I like to think that I, I, I don't look the same as I did in 2012. Here's a, here's a picture. If you, if you need a, a remembrance of him back then, 155 pounds. But I work in a little bit, so I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna show you what my post-workout meal is gonna be. It's not really a meal, it's a snack. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see where this goes. So I'll see you guys at home. All right, so it's time for the snack. And what you'll need for this snack here is a protein shake cup of any sort, or really just any cup. Our uh, one up apple cinnamon cereal protein right here. Discount code in the bio. Bio? Comment section? I don't know. And you'll also need some old fashioned oats here. So the first thing we do is we are gonna get some protons here for the protons and throw them in here like so i usually do two scoops that's usually what makes me feel nice and uh good after a solid workout all right next we're going to the beautiful old-fashioned oats and i like to weigh my oats as you see i have my scale right here so we're going to turn that bad boy on i'm going to do the just the one serving size of oats which is 40 grams of oats all right so let's see here 19 25 40 grams of oats. Now the last ingredient we have here is some 1% milk, super low fat, high proton. I'm gonna do 16 whole ounces of this and your shaker's gonna be pretty full here. It's a lot of milk. All right. So, so after 16 ounces of milk, Two of protein and some oatmeal. This is kind of more or less how full it should be. We're gonna throw this lid back on here like so, shake it up, and that's snack time. Then we're gonna go meet my girlfriend for a beautiful meal. Let's go.
What's up guys? So we're here at the Urban Cottage Cafe. Um, for my longtime followers, this used to be Eureka Cafe. If you've seen my any of my videos before I got my NASM certification, this is where I did most of my studying. Even for grad school, I did most of my studying here. We're here. I'm here with my beautiful girlfriend. We're gonna read some books and eat some food, get some coffee, have a good time. Solid six out of ten. Urban Cottage Cafe. If you want to give it a try, it's it's right here. I'm not gonna give you the coordinates because I don't think that would be very helpful. But a lot of people always ask me, why do you read? I'm just kidding, maybe like one person asked me. And you know, just as I believe in taking care of the body and getting yourself some muscular gains, some hypertrophy, I also believe it's pretty smart to get those brain gains. So right now I'm reading this book right here. Uh, the Gulag Archipelago. It's a uh, it's a hard read. Not gonna lie, I'm not really a history buff, um, but my boy Jordan Peterson got me really curious about this one. Um, I'm on my second read through. It's pretty good. Uh, the first read through, I was like, "What the heck?" Like that was really hard. But now I'm starting to get the concepts a little more. I find that note taking, kind of just taking a pause after each like chapter just to kind of remember what it is I read, it really helps. So, like I said earlier. Read your books, get those gains, and see where the day takes us. Good morning, thanks for being Starbucks. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, what can I get for you today? Can I get a grande nitro cold brew with sweet cream, please? Have a grande nitro vanilla sweet cream cold brew, anything else? That's gonna be it. Alrighty, it's 95. Thank you. Alright, thank you. Alright, so as you guys can probably well, as you guys can probably tell by my five o'clock shadow that I've just recently gotten, uh, it's a new day. It's not the same day. I know I don't want some of you thinking, oh my god, he's getting coffee after he just had coffee. Although that is something that I would do. That's not the case today. It's the next day. I just wanted to get some coffee to start off my morning. I'm here at Albertsons again, like I was in the last video, because I want to go home, make some breakfast, and then you and I, you and me, each other, are going to have a little quick conversation about macros and what I feel isn't the most exact way to do it, but it is the easiest way if you're in a time crunch or you're not crazy serious about it. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, yeah, that's probably going to be the end of the vlog. And then we'll get started on the next one. It's going to be good. So I'll see you guys when I'm at home. All right, guys. So we are about to figure out my macros and what I consider the easiest way and the fastest way possible to do it. I've made videos in the past about how to find your calories, how to find your macros, but those are longer versions, a little more precise. It takes a little more math. If you're not into math, this is probably the best way to do it. So the first thing we have to do is find my maintenance calories, all right? And the easiest way to do that is we get our weight. So I'm about 195 right now. So 195 pounds. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna multiply that by one of three numbers, either 14, 15, or 16. So 14, you'll wanna multiply it by your weight if your lifestyle isn't very active. If you feel like you don't do much besides go to the gym, you're pretty sedentary, that's 14. And then obviously 16 would be a very active lifestyle. If you're somewhere in between, then 15 would be your number. All right, so so far we have this here. My weight, 195 times either 14, 15 in the middle here, or 16. So just as a safe bet, my lifestyle is decently active. 
Uh, I'm not going to say it's super active though, so as just a safe point, I'm going to go 15. Alright, so we're going to get my trusty calculator out here, as you can see. And we're going to go 195, my weight, times 15, and that gives us 2,952. Alright, so this is what I need to stay exactly the same. I need to eat 2,952 calories a day. But I'm not trying to stay the same. We're trying to cut. Summer has officially begun. Um, started a little later because of everything that's going on. But in order to lose weight, we have to get those calories and drop them. So for now, uh, I'd say max you want to drop about 500 unless you're trying to compete. And then towards the end, you might want to get a bigger deficit. But for now, we'll say about 300, 300 calories. See how that goes? Maybe 350. Um, I think I'll go 350. So I'm going to get 2,952 and subtract 350 from it. All right, so we have maintenance calories minus 350 up to 500 if you're just trying to lose some weight trying to lose some fat and that's going to give us the total of 2575 so for now the calories i need to hit to lose some weight from my maintenance calories is 2575 and that's how you find your maintenance calories and how many calories you should be eating to lose weight so if you're trying to gain weight instead of subtracting the 350 you just add it all right so now we have our calories now we got to find our proteins fats and carbohydrates that we're going to need based off the 2575 calories that we're going to be eating a day so for the protein i'd say a safe number is you want to hit at least your body weight in grams of protein so for me that would be 195 grams of protein if i'm aiming for 195 grams of protein we got to figure out how many calories are in that and the way to do that is by getting protein seeing how many calories are in one gram and then just multiplying that to the number that we have so one gram of protein has four calories in it so we're going to get four and multiply it by 195 and that's going to give us a total of 780 calories all right so for my protein it's going to attribute 780 calories towards that per day so at the end we're going to be subtracting this from that but for now we got to figure out the fat and the way we do fat is kind of the opposite so ideally you want your fat intake to be anywhere from 20 percent to 30 percent of your daily intake as far as cutting so i'm going to go with 25 just because i kind of like my fats but i don't want too much fats so i'm just going to get 25 percent of my maintenance calories so 25 percent of 2575 and that's going to give me a total of 643. So 643, the number right here, is going to be the amount of fat that's going to be attributed to our maintenance calories. So now we just do the opposite. Last time we got the grams, and then we multiplied it by the amount of calories per gram in the protein. Now we're going to do the opposite because we have the calories for the fat, which is 643. And we're going to divide that by 9 because there are 9 calories in every gram of fat. And that's going to give us a total of about 71.4. I'm going to round that down, give it about 70. So we're going to have 70 grams of fat. And then we only have one more to go, the carbohydrates. And that one's going to be the easiest because we have all the numbers we need to kind of just cancel out and see what's left. All right, so, so far we have 195 grams of protein, 70 grams of fat, and their calories that pertain to each of those. We're going to figure out the carbs the way we do that. We're going to grab these two numbers, add them up, and then subtract it from our maintenance calories. So 700 calories from the protein plus the 643 calories from the fat is going to give us 1,423. We're going to get 1,423 and subtract it from 2,575 calories, which is our maintenance calories. And that's going to leave us with 1,152 calories calories that is going to be attributed to the carbs all right we're going to get that number and divide it by the number of calories in each gram of carbohydrates which is four so 1152 calories divided by four is going to give us 288 and we're done now and so this is what we have for our macros we have 195 grams of protein 70 grams of fat 288 grams of carbohydrates that is all coming from 2575 calories and that's it and that's for me at least the easiest way to do it on the go you could do it on the train you could do it on your ride home if you're not the one driving you could do it literally anywhere and you'll get it done and you're going to get results from this number and as you start to lose weight and get leaner 
these numbers might not work for you the same. So that's when you start to lower the calories, that extra 100, 150 calories, maybe even 200 calories. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. I hope you learned something so you didn't have to watch my 18 minute video from like two years ago. Hopefully this is pretty helpful for you. But that's gonna be it for today's video. I will see you guys in the next one. Good luck with your numbers, hopes it work out. Leave me in the comments. Let me know how it worked out for you guys and uh, we'll see you next time. So peace. Yeah,